Paul from High Tech Legion, CES 2015. We are at the EBGA suite. We are with Jacob Freeman. We're going to go over a few of the new innovations that EBGA has to offer us for 2015. So, Jacob, what do we have here? So, uh, this is a new uh, mice line for EBGA. So, we, we launched the X10 earlier this year right. in July. So, we have a few other models coming. We have uh, an X3 mouse, we call it X3. This will be our kind of entry level okay. mouse offering. It's 4,000 DPIs, optical sensor. Uh, kind of will probably be around $30 price range. There's no that, but it'll be a very, very attractive price. And then uh, one step above that, we have the X5, it has a uh, 6,400 6, uh, okay. optical sensor. It also includes an RGB uh, LED, so you can change the LEDs. And one step above that one is the X5 laser. Which is the same, actually the same laser that is used in the Torque X10. The Torque X10. The Torque X10. Uh, you just lose some of the uh, the customizability, like the sizing and the weight system. But, uh, the laser sensor is the same, and uh, this one will be also offered at a very attractive price point. So on these, then, these aren't going to have the the capability to add the weights or anything like that. Right, yeah. But we're still getting the same uh, great quality as yeah, we did. They still use the all run switches, which are yeah. very high quality switches. Um, it's still an ambidextrous mouse uh, okay. style, so you can use the right All right, boss. You want to get a closer shot, Wade? I'll grab these and hold them up for you. Oh. All right, everyone, next up, we have the EBGA keyboard. We're going to let Jacob go give us a little bit of a run about it. Sure, so this is, uh, we call the Z10. This is the first keyboard that we are offering uh, to kind of complement the mouse. Uh, so it's a fully mechanical keyboard. It uses cherry red keys. Uh, we do have an LCD up here as well, which uh, will uh, eventually tie to EBGA precision. So you'll be able to monitor like your uh, system vitals, like GPU temperature. Uh, even your in-game frame rate, things like that, you can monitor um, right from the LCD. It has, uh, of course, all the software to customize it. It has seven macro keys. There's five of them. And six and seven of them can be programmed as macros or shortcuts to okay. applications. Is this the, uh, is the wrist? Um, so the wrist, is it removable? yeah, it is removable. It slides off here just like okay. that. Um, <laughs> this is a uh, not a final design. The final okay. one will change up a little bit. This is uh, still kind of the prototype stages, but um, it's getting there. Mm -hmm. It's uh, probably going to ship in around the Q2 time frame. So is this plastic or aluminum? This is aluminum. Okay, so it's aluminum around it. If you could, if you get a close look, uh, ladies and gentlemen, you can see that they're t they're actually roller switches for your. Uh, for your volume and for your dimmer on the panel. So you don't have to worry about pushing keys and not knowing which way it's going or which way it's not going. That's a nice feature that I that I like. Also, for those of you who are my age who can't see things, the uh, display up there is going to be a nice addition to this keyboard. Next up, everyone, we've got the GTX 980, and this is the Hydro Copper Edition. Jacob? Yeah, so this is a new car that we're going to be shipping in February. Um, so what it is is a GTX 980 uh, with an all-in-one solar on it. Okay. So uh, this has, you know, the radiator attached to it. It has the fluid in it as well, of course, a fan. And uh, cools the GPU. It uh, works quite well. It keeps the GPU around 40 to 45 degrees Celsius under full load. So um, it really helps to, to lower the GPU temperature. And this is kind of what it looks like when it's not on the card. Uh, so we plan to distribute it in two different ways. Uh, one will be like an upgrade model okay. where we would uh, sell the, um, the cooler. And a shroud. You need a new shroud because it's okay. up. Mm -hmm. And um, we uh, also uh, will provide the entire solution. Just like that. Okay. So if you have a pre-existing EBGA card or any any NVIDIA reference, any NVIDIA any reference, reference okay. card will uh, kind of come with it. So you can just go ahead and buy this as an upgrade. If you're looking to purchase a new EVGA video card, then you have the option of buying the full package itself. All right, next up, we have the 980 classified, and this is going to be the Kingpin edition. So we'll let Jacob tell us about this one. Yeah, so Kingpin, in, in case you don't know who he is, he's an extreme overclocker. We work very closely with him. And uh, basically, this is the car that he 
designed essentially. So, made a lot of improvements over our uh, existing phosphide bar. Have an RGB LED. Uh, this is kind of just in demo mode, so it's just cycling colors. But uh, you'll be able to uh, set the color that you want from from software. Okay. It's also uh, we also changed the I/O, uh, so um, you can see it, it can be made into a single slot graphics card if you have a water cooler. And we actually will even ship this single slot bracket okay. to, uh, to turn it into a single slot uh, graphics card. Yeah, improve the power. You can see we have dual eight pins plus a six pin power input. Uh, the previous classified had dual eight pin power inputs. We have a new memory trace layout uh, for the memory that improves the memory overclocking. And we have a new VRM that we're using as well. 14 power phases. Okay. Uh, but it's a new style that we're using that's more efficient and also runs cooler as well. And um, yeah, we're pretty excited about this card. We've made a lot of improvements. Again, this is a another feature here is this is a fully it looks it doesn't it may not look like it, but this is actually a metal shroud. So it's kind of a premium. That is a metal shroud. It's not plastic. <laughs> it's very nice. Um, price point on that? Haven't quite got there yet. This okay. will be our highest end uh, GTX 980 mm -hmm. offering, uh, so you can kind of expect it to be priced appropriately. But uh, we're still finalizing the final pricing details. Understood. All right, everyone. We're over here by the cooling demonstration. Jacob's going to go over the uh, ACX cooling that EVGA uses and show you a comparison of the differences between power consumption, etc. Because if you if you realize that. Power consumption is important. We don't want to consume too much power. We want to maximize our cooling without the power consumption. So Jacob's going to tell us how EVGA does that. Sure. So um, ACX 2.0 cooling launched uh, about a year ago, but we've uh, kind of been iterating on it. So the latest version is, is 2.0. Made a lot of improvements to the actual fan motor to, mm -hmm. to reduce the power consumption. So it's a three-phase motor, which is a much more efficient type of design. The traditional are about are using one phase. Okay. So this demo up here, it shows a competitor solution. It's running at about four watts or so, and the, the EVGA, which runs under under one watt. So the reason that why this is important is uh, all NVIDIA cars uh, after Kepler have a uh, have a power target. You can think of like a power ceiling. And right. So that power target includes the fan power consumption as well. So the lower the fan power consumption you have, the more power is available for the GPU. For the GPU. So, so if you're in a power constrained mm -hmm. situation, you can actually get a higher overclock or a higher boost clock with a lower power fan. Okay. Yeah. So in addition to that, we also have a lot of other features. Uh, we have double ball bearings mm -hmm. on on the fans, which improve the lifespan of the fan by up to four x over sleep bearings. And actually, we're. Uh, NVIDIA reference cards use double wall bearing fans, and EVGA ACX 2.0 use double wall bearing fans. And uh, that's about it on the graphics card side. And then uh, over here, this is a, a new GTX 970 product that will be uh, shipping very soon. This also uses ACX 2.0, but we made um, some improvements to other aspects of it as well. So, 970 launch in, in uh, September, right? And, uh, you know, the cards uh, did well, we're pretty happy with it, our uh, customers are quite happy, but at the same time we've been uh, listening to a lot of the reception and okay. we made some changes to a new product that we have here. So um, this is the uh, 970 FTW Plus. Okay. First of all, we ship it with a backplate. With a backplate. Back plate comes on it. We have a, uh, a new heat pipe design, it's a straight heat pipe okay. design. Okay. It's just, it's straight. Straight across. <laughs> so, a straight heat pipe is more efficient than a curved heat pipe. Okay. Um, it's easier for the heat to transfer, mm -hmm. transfer and that just and, and that alone helps reduce the GPU temperature by about six degrees Celsius. Okay. Well, that's, that's we also me. add a uh, we call MMCP. It's a okay. memory MOSFET memory plate. It's okay. this plate you see right here, mm -hmm. and that helps reduce the memory and the VRM temperatures. In fact, the VRM temperatures with this plate on there are reduced by about twenty five degrees Celsius. So it's a pretty significant. Uh, Drop in temperature. Yeah. So uh, this product will uh, be available um, hopefully later this month, okay. late January. Let's just, let's just go grab us and give everyone out there a, a closer look at it. So of course we have the ACX cooling 2.0, ball bearing fans. If you can take a look down on the side, you'll notice that there are no heat pipes here. These heat pipes actually run straight through without any bends 
to to the end, as Jacob said, to provide better cooling. I forgot to mention one other aspect that we uh, we changed. We have an eight pin and a six pin power input. Okay. So you have a higher power target. Um, and uh, it's also a six phase power design. Six our, phase. Our previous design was okay. four phase. Dual, dual cooling solution, of course. You have two display ports, your HDMI. Actually, three display ports, I'm sorry. And, of course, your DVI. Very nice card. Also, I know a lot of you always complain that you purchase cards without back plates. This is going to cover that for you. We all remember three years ago, or maybe four now, when EVGA introduced the individually sleeved cables when they came out with their power supply line. That's one thing that I've always appreciated was the individually sleeved cables. They've had some new innovations. They're coming out with a couple more power supplies, and we're going to let Jacob go ahead and show them to us. So this is the uh, highest end power supply offering. It's 1600 watts. Uh, it's actually titanium rated. It's uh, part of our uh, T2 line, which has been very popular with enthusiasts. Of course, fully modular. It also has a, uh, a feature that the fan will shut off when the uh, when the system is idle. So uh, you know, when idle, it'll have a lower fan noise. So this is our highest end uh, power supply offering, and it is actually available today. Okay, and then we have 1,200, 1,000? Yeah, we have a couple more uh, titanium models in the works here, 1,200 and 1,000 titanium. And then we have a new line of power supplies okay. that will be coming out very soon. This is part of the GS line. Okay. And uh, the focus on the GS line will be uh, the, the noise level. So there will be extremely low noise level. In fact, primarily they will be silent with the fan shuts off um, during, during low loads or even mm -hmm. medium loads. <laughs> What's the highest uh, wattage are you going with the uh, GSI? We uh, plan to go up to 1,300 watts on the Really? Yep. Okay. Are there going to be any, of course, it's going to be a little bit longer, correct? The, 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 the larger power plant. Okay. But these, uh, the 615, 550 will be the smaller plant. Okay. So there will be a small form factor. Then you'll probably just go up to the normal size and then, of course, <laughs> then you got the big boy. Yeah. All right. All right, everyone. That was our tour of the EVGA suite here at CES 2015. I want to say thank you to Jacob for giving us his time and showing us the, the uh, new products from EVGA. Keep on watching, everyone. Stay thirsty. Bye-bye.